Holly, hello! I'm Marie Fashionista Sherry and clearly this jumpsuit is like way too small for me. Like maybe a couple or three sizes too small for me. But I saw it in the thrift store and it was on sale and I really have wanted a long denim jumpsuit for a while. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna upsize it because it was just a couple of bucks so why not and um yeah you can see i don't know can you see Ooh. <laughs> i even have the pockets like out so i could do up the bottom portion so you know i was not going to offend anyone with my bottom portion on display <laughs> anyway <laughs> so today that's what we're gonna do we are going to upsize this jumpsuit but i'm going to do it in a totally different way that I have never tried before. So uh, let's get making. <laughs> For this hopefully quick and easy, totally groovetastic jumpsuit upsizing project, all you need is your too tight jumpsuit. And because I am trying something totally new once again today, you're also going to need enough fabric to go from the bottom cuffs all the way up the jumpsuit, over the shoulders, back down the backside, and all the way down to the bottom leg cuffs once again. Hopefully this is gonna work. Let's give it a try. <laughs> so I have flipped my jumpsuit inside out, and you can see here I have two chest pockets, so the very first thing I'm going to do is carefully remove them because I don't want to have to cut into the pockets and maybe I will put them back on at the end. I'm not sure quite yet. We'll see how it goes. So I have my seam ripper and I'm just gonna as carefully as possible <laughs> get rid of these pockets for now. Hooray, my pockets are finally off. That took forever because this fabric is so thin, even though I'm pretty sure it is denim. It is a very, very thin denim, so I had to be super careful when I was unpicking the seams, especially up here. The corner seams up here were like crazy sewn over and over and over and over. Anyway, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That took forever. It's done now. So now let's move on to getting the measurement for my panels. So to get the width that you need for your side panels is actually pretty easy. You can simply eyeball it or you can do what I'm doing and I'm just using an existing jumpsuit to kind of figure out how wide I need my panels to be. I love how this one fits me. Oh, I'm sorry, Guy. This one fits Guy perfectly and he kindly let me uh, borrow it for this project. But if you don't have a jumpsuit and if you don't want to eyeball it, you can simply use a loose fitting t-shirt and a pair of loose fitting lounge pants or sweatpants to get your general basic measurements. Okay, so I have my jumpsuit laid flat, the one that fits me loosely, and now I'm just going to place the tight jumpsuit on top of it and line up the collars and the shoulder seams the underarm area as best as I can. Okay, pull this up so you can see. <laughs> All right, now you can see here the amount that I'm going to need to upsize this one. And I have this on both sides, but I'm just gonna measure one side, of course. So let's go with the waist area here because it seems to be the best. And it's about five centimeters, but I'm going to stretch it to six, and then I'm going to add another centimeter or two for seam allowance, so that's gonna take it up to seven or eight centimeters. So I'm gonna do eight centimeters just to be super extra, <laughs> extra loose and wide, and if anything goes wrong, then I have that extra centimeter if I need it. So to get the length of the panels I'm going to need, I have grabbed an even longer tailor's measure here because I'm going to measure from the top of the shoulder seam all the way down to the bottom of the leg cuff. And you can see it is pretty much exactly 150 centimeters, but because I need it for the front to go all the way around and back all the way down the back side, then I'm going to need 
three meters, so 300 centimeters, plus, of course, a couple of centimeters for seam allowance. So let's, let's just make it an even 305 centimeters. So I'm going to do 305 centimeters by eight centimeters wide. So let's go cut up that fabric. So I just noticed something pretty cool about this fabric I'm using, which, by the way, I thrifted like seven years ago when I was still living in Germany. But look at this. The, uh, the squares are just about almost exactly a centimeter each. So if I wanted to, I could just literally count the squares. But I think I'm going to use my measure anyway. Anyway, let's go cut the fabric. <laughs> Okay, I have my incredibly long fabric inserts done, and they're pretty much the same size, so that's that's awesome. So, you can kind of see my plan here is to make super long suspender-looking inserts that go, like, all the way down, plus all the way down the back. And, um, yeah, let's, let's go see how we're going to chop up the jumpsuits so I can insert them now. Okay, so I now have my jumpsuit inside out and I have it laying flat on the floor. And how I'm going to chop off the sides here is just by starting up at the top of the shoulder seam and then I'm going to go chop all the way down, making sure that I do not chop through the area here where the pocket is. So I'm going to have to measure a little bit maybe, or I'm just going to eyeball it probably. <laughs> and then I'm just going to keep going all the way down and chop through the bottom hem. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So I just almost had a terrible refashioning mishap when I was going and smoothing the fabric so I could cut it nicely. I felt something here on the behind and look at that. There is a pocket that I did not notice. So before I cut anything, I have to remove this singular pocket that is on the behind of my, <laughs> of my jumpsuit. <laughs> Okay, so I have cut one side all the way up here, and full disclosure, after I removed that back pocket, I did go ahead and iron the whole thing so all the seams were nice and flat. Now I gotta cut the other side. Okay, so because I couldn't simply fold this whole thing in half and use one side as a template for the other side, I then did go ahead and I used the chop side as the template here. And you can see I, as carefully and as nicely as I possibly could and as evenly as I could, I have placed the chopped side onto the not chopped side and now I'm going to use that and simply cut as close as I can to the edge here and hopefully that's going to give me some even-ish chopped sides. Okay, now I'm left with this and it looks pretty even-ish, so I am happy with that. Now let's go put in our insert fabric. Okay, so now you can see that I have the center part of my jumpsuit right side out, and I have one of my long fabric panels with the right sides facing to the jumpsuit. And, of course, I have to stitch this side <laughs> to the raw edge here, the chopped edge of the jumpsuit. So then, when it's folded out, I this is my fabric panel here. Like, that's going to look so cool. And then the other part of the jumpsuit is going to be attached on this other side of the fabric. So... Hopefully it's going to be easier than it sounds. <laughs> okay, so to create my length, I had to stitch two super long pieces of the fabric together, as you can see, and I'm going to use my center stitch area here lined up with the shoulder seam, and then hopefully that way it's going to look, you know, like it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to go stitch all the way down and around, and um, yeah, then we're gonna come back and attach the other side of the jumpsuit. 
so it is all stitched around the front and the back and because I don't have a fancy serger I did go ahead and after doing my straight stitch I did a quick a tight wide zigzag all down my straight stitch once again to help stop prevent fraying okay now let's have a look let's have a look uh, look, that matches up just about perfectly, and how awesome does that look? This is going to be so cool. Okay, how awesome is that going to look once it's together? So, now I definitely have to kind of puzzle this together. So, I need to have right sides facing. So, I'm going to flip this like so to make sure that I have my pocket and everything on the front because that's where it goes. Alrighty, and now I'm going to line up, just like I did before, line up the shoulder seams with my fabric connector seam here. And now I can go and stitch all of this together using that exact same technique, first with a straight stitch and then with the zigzag over top. Okay, it is all stitched together now, so it is time to flip it out and see how successful this actually was. Um, you guys, that came out exactly like I wanted it to. Look at that all the way down, all the way down. It is awesome. I am so excited. Oh, right. And on the back side, of course, on the back side as well. Ah! I am so excited to repeat the whole process on the other side. And then, of course, we're going to try it on and style it up. <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. This is, I don't even know. Um, it was touch and go for uh, uh, a long time there when I was filming this. This took me like the entire day to make, to try to figure out how to put stuff together and the ironing. So much ironing. So I really wanted to have nice seams and everything, which is why there was so much ironing because I've taken the advice of you guys and anytime I ask you about ironing, you're always like, Freaking iron your stuff, it looks so much better. The seams are so much crisper. And you know what, you're all right. So thank you, I am now ironing. <laughs> but wowza, wowza, how awesome did this come? I just, again, sometimes I don't know how my brain works. Um, I guess I'm a pretty visual person because I can't use patterns to save my life or anybody else's life. But if I get an idea, I literally see the finished project product as well as all of the steps. I see it in my head before I even start making it. So I guess that's kind of a cool thing, a cool little talent that I have. <laughs> anyway, how perfect is this for Pride Month? I mean, it's just amazing. Rainbow, upsize, and it went from like two or three sizes too small for me to now being, you know, perfect. It just, it's so comfortable. I, it's very roomy now, which I love my jumpsuits to be roomy and comfy. And I just think it looks so cool that it goes all the way down and around my little suspender thingies, upsizing panels here. And as you can see, you know, I did put the back pocket back on. Um, I did add a little bit of uh, leftover fabric trim to it though, to fancy it up. But I also decided not to do the front pockets here because it really detracted from these cool stripey suspender looking things here to have like two, you know, denim big pockets there. So I decided not to do that. And again, I think it actually looks pretty cool to have the darker, <laughs> the darker shade there, but who knows? I don't know. You guys will let me know what you think down below, I'm sure. And as always, tell me if you're going to try this because it is, I mean, I'm totally full disclosure honesty here. It is a lot of work to get it looking so nice. I mean, there was a lot of measuring. There was a lot of eyeballing too, but there was also a lot of measuring. And like I said, tons and tons of ironing, but 
the result is so, 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 so worth it. So absolutely make this. It is, it's so cool. And I mean, it would look so awesome with any kind of jumpsuit, any kind of different fabric inserts. Like, seriously, it's awesome. Um, anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm going on too much. And uh, it is time now, guys. It is troll time. And today, today's troll has a bit of an issue with uh, my staff of characters. And um, <laughs> so, you know, Esther wanted to respond to her. So um, take it away, Esther. <laughs> oh, hello again, me little puppets. It is me, Esther, and I am here once again to do the troll time for Refashionista Sherry. Now, before we get started, I just want to say thank you once again for choosing this lovely house dress for me. And as you can see, I did go ahead and I bought myself a new nightcap to wear with my lovely house dress. And it is just perfectly matching. So thanks again for choosing this one. It is so lovely with the pockets. It is just perfect. Thank you again. But we are here to do troll time. So let's get started. And this one, I'm not understanding this one at all. So you can let me know down below what you think was going through this person's mind because I am not sure. But today's troll time comes from Tula. Tula, Tula. And Tula says, you're acting like different people is not funny at all. No wonder you're not famous because everything you do is thing stupid. Stop before you ruin your life. Um, do you see, like I said, I don't really understand. Um, I do understand though there is some definite spelling and grammar errors as always with these comments. And I really don't understand that at all because I am not a youngster whatsoever, and yet I manage to be able to spell things correctly. And if I do make a little grammar or spelling mistake, the wonderful internet, what is that, Google, I think, it lets me know by putting a little squiggly line underneath it. And then all I have to do is right click and oh, the correct spelling or grammar comes up. I click it, it fixes it. So I don't understand. Nowadays, how can you spell things so wrong or have such bad grammar? Because the, the computers, they fix it for you, don't they? It's so, so nice to have these, these wonderful technological advances that weren't around when I was young. Okay, also, what is thing? Maybe I am a little bit older, but, but for me, it is seeming like she was trying to say, but, and, um, that's not a nice word, is it? Not at all. But thing, okay, thing stupid. I guess we'll go with that. Now, let's let's respond to the comment. So acting like different people is not funny at all. Well, I beg to differ. I think it's thing hilarious. And I do also think that a lot of other people share that. Otherwise, there would not be any actors in the world whatsoever, would there? You know, if acting like different people wasn't wasn't funny um, or interesting, but but hey, she's entitled to her opinion, Tula. You are entitled to your opinion. You just don't have to spread it around and be so thing rude about it, do you, to a stranger online? Um, what else? No wonder you're not famous. Well, you know what? So what? You know, who wants to be super famous? Who wants anything? You know, Sherry is out there spreading positivity and free tutorials and you know this is this is her goal it's not so much to be famous but I mean it would be nice to to have a, that that money that comes along with the fame wouldn't it that would be nice so it's easier to pay your bills but it's more about you know helping people to create their own unique style and hopefully they will you feel great when they step out of the house and maybe be able to fix up their homes a little bit without breaking the bank and that's really what it's all about and you know what the bonus is it helps it helps the environment as well so it's not at all about being famous but okay you do you too la you do you too la that kind of rhymes and um 
How is exactly is she ruining her life? Stop before you ruin your life. How does this ruin anyone's life to be a, you know, gen genuinely positive person? Um, once again, she didn't come from the nicest background and her life has not been all sunshine and roses. So, you know what? In her adulthood, she's chosen to kind of spread some positivity to those people that need it because she never got that herself. And I think instead of going around being a bitter, bitter old biddy, it is so much nicer to spread happiness and positivity and, and that sunshine. And again, if more people did that, the world would be a much, much better place, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it really? Anyway, you're probably wondering, well, I have a plant here. Well, you know what? This is actually called a money tree. And so Refashionista Sherry is hoping that it is going to bring in a little bit of money to her. And if you have one of these in your house, please let her know down below the best way to take care of it because you know, she's not really sure. And Mr. Internet is helpful, but it doesn't have all the info. So if you have one, please do let her know. And um, you know what, I think that's about all I can say about all of this. But in the end, please stay safe and please stay well. And a refashionista Sherry and I, we will catch you on the zigzag. This is Confessions of a Refashionista.